Hi guys, this is me, Josh, aka Dr. X, and Lil Uvo, aka Justin. We will just use both our real names, Josh and Justin, for this one. So maybe we will call this podcast at one point like the J&J podcast. We don't know yet. We hope that this is going to be a continuous thing to do. So today we just want to talk about what is broken on Celtic Heroes and why Celtic Heroes is a dying game. So Justin, now uh, want to talk about the auction house first or about advertising, marketing? What do we want to talk about? I'm chewing on ice, but uh, yeah, I'll go. Um... Okay, so just chew on your ice, I'll talk. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the auction house for one thing, which is like, when the auction house got uh, implemented into Celtic Heroes, everybody was happy at first because, yo, we finally got an auction house. This game finally com can compare itself to World of Warcraft or whatever, right? So, <laughs> Celtic Heroes auction houses, it's kind of like cringe and it's broken. The amount of people using the auction house for item glitching or just plain scamming, legal scamming, is fucking ridiculous. I mean, at some point there's people buying these Onyx Dragon Eggs, you know these things? Which you could pick up back in 2016-17 from the ground. There were these Dragon Egg things, right? They just look, they have the same fucking item as the Dragon Eggs for your, offer, uh, for your little dragon pet, right? Yeah. So these things, for example, people can uh, can put them in the auction house and they can just set the value themselves. Which is why the auction house is broken in the first place. Is people can actually use their own imagination for any price. So they can set their own price. I think that is a big mistake for the auction house. And it's... I don't know why. I mean, there's people spending millions of gold on fashion items. Which, this shit is just ridiculous. Here, and I'll, then there's items just I'll, going loose. I'll, right? I'll explain what you're trying to say. Basically, there's an item in Otherworld that you can get. It looks just like the dragon egg in Lux. The Lux uh, chests that you can put yeah. as for your companion pet. So basically, they look exactly the same. Just about. Like, pretty similar, I guess. It's called a dragon egg. They, the picture's different, but when you see dragon egg, you're thinking, Oh, that's the Lux pet. But those... Oops. <laughs> well, they just set for the same price, and you think it's it, you get scammed. But the thing is, when he said, like, legal scamming or whatever, you can scam- like, basically, people get scammed, and you can report them, and VR will do nothing about it. Legit, they'll do nothing. If, if it doesn't affect the money they're making, they won't do anything about it, and that's why the game's dying. What's another reason why the game's dying, uh... Josh. Another reason is marketing, <laughs> basically. Celtic Heroes has no marketing, uh, Justin. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Celtic Heroes has got no marketing. Like, you don't see any ads anywhere in the US or uh, anything on anywhere in the world, basically. I don't know if they do this for the Asian Celtic Heroes. I think there is a version just for the Asian market, which is completely in Asian as well and has some different features than the original game, which is. I mean, maybe you've seen this before when the haircuts came, like the Asian haircuts came to Celtic Heroes. Which was back when the game was sold to an Asian market company. From one time over to Virtual Weavers, basically. And there was a different kind of like version, which I think it was called Highland Warriors. I think that was, was the name of the game. And everybody was like, yo, what's gonna happen to Celtic Heroes and whatever. So I don't know if Highland Warriors, or if it was called like this, is still getting promoted somewhere, but Celtic Heroes is nowhere to be promoted. Their YouTube channel is dead, their Instagram is dead, the forums are dead, the game is dead. There's no new players coming to the game because nobody knows about this game. And in my opinion, you can't do this. I mean, just check on Order and Chaos. I still sometimes find... Um, advertising for Order and Chaos 2 in uh, in my city. It's uh, random like game stops. I, mean, I don't know if you guys have game stops in the US, I think, yeah. Uh, but there's all these like game stops which still advertise mobile games. And Celtic Heroes just doesn't do that. There's no ads for the game anywhere. Yeah, um, even like it doesn't have to be a physical ad. It could just be, you know, maybe a somewhat more famous YouTuber starts playing the game and they're like, hey, you know, check this out, and then other players would feel more enticed to, you know, start playing this game. Another thing is, um, starting into the game and, and it being pay to win. Um, yeah. When you start off in the game, most players who are new have no idea how to make gold or what they're even doing in general. And to level, it's actually very hard to, like, you know... To level without Lux, and a lot of players who exfer from other worlds, they easily, um, they're able to level, so yeah. 
Yeah, that's the paywall in Celtic Heroes is just fucking big. And me and Justin talked about this privately just before recording this. There's like a huge paywall. Like any other game has this uh, basically the ability to to get players on board without them spending much money or even if they spend money they get something in return for that. In Celtic Heroes, right, they offer you a starter package for what 30 platinum or 10 platinum i don't know the exact amount of platinum they wanted to pay you but i think it's more than you have to buy more than three bucks actually just to get this and there's nothing in it there's like three sigils in it and a couple of idols this is just fucking ridiculous at this point why would anybody spend money on that shit but new players they will do this eventually because they think it's good and if they do this and they realize they just spent three bucks for nothing they will not continue playing this game it's just how it is. Like you just can't progress without paying a lot of money for stuff on Celtic Heroes. Yeah, basically. And um, like I said, it's just really expensive to get into the game. Um, a lot of lux, especially let's say 100 to 150, like a wild shot ammy. It goes for like 3.5 yeah. mil. And if you spend let's say like 100 bucks, you only get like maybe five to six mil. So just for and the one watch item, is for, it's for level 150, right? Yeah. I mean, so no 150 level 150 by just casually licksing or leveling their way up will have that much money. It's just you don't have that gold. You just don't have it. And for them to like not even care about this, and there's no support of the game. It's no secret that this game is dying game, right? But like, there's no support about that. Nobody listens to the. I mean, this is just actually it was just really funny, like when they made this section in the forums, which was, was like players' feedback and suggestions and stuff, right? Petitions for the game. Nothing that was said on there ever got into the game, nothing. And people, there's like 10 or 20k threads of people just, just talking about uh, what they want to have or see in Celtic Heroes. And the admins, they don't care about this. And one thing people always said was like, yo, we want a Caramel A stone for Snorri, right? But they didn't make it until this year. The last year basically it's new year still so they they just fucking took what five four years till they fucking put that in the game and it's such a fucking easy fix but nobody listens to the player base nobody yeah and also another thing is uh how easily gold like gets out of the server which also helps like you know because um let's say an auction house there's the fee and also let's say you buy items for lux but getting gold in the game is just, it's too hard and VR entices you so much just to buy plat. Like, let's say for fishing, right? Fishing's probably yeah. one of the like best ways that doesn't include like selling or merching to make gold in the game. Uh, you probably make around, let's say 50K gold an hour, right? Um, if you bought $100 worth of uh, plat on double plat, um, you'd probably make you get 200 chests and each chest you could sell for 50k so that means in fishing uh, in terms of like let's say money to like like real life money to like you fishing in terms of hours it take you 200 hours uh, in like fishing to make the same amount of gold it would for a hundred bucks yeah so would you rather fish for 200 hours or you know just buy chests just spend a hundred bucks like that's yeah. why people are just like, I'll just spend hundred bucks, right? But then like, uh, like let's say twenty people do it, VR just makes two thousand dollars from a dual plat. But it's more than twenty people. It's like let's say maybe thirty people on a server, and it's for every server. Yeah. So they make a lot of money off that. I think the, the statistics of VR's money income, which I don't know if it's okay to just talk about this or assume, but this is just an assumption. I just saw this on on a site. Um, on an online site about game ad revenues or whatever. So Celtic Heroes income or the developing team's income of Celtic Heroes is around 60 to 90k a month from people buying platinum. And that for like a game like this is really just, it's not even good. <laughs> it's okay to keep the game running because it still earns the company money. But for them to like go other ways and like invest into developing this game, it's not enough. That's kind of, that's why the game's dying. That's kind of crazy. That's like uh, 900 people spending 100. Yeah, and that's like that's like easy to obtain for them. And I mean, it's still happening. Like a lot of people in our clan, for example, they just buy plat and just open chests out of boredom, right? 
So, I mean, I, I did this myself back in the days on FNR. I just always bought chests and just opened them. Like, just because I was bored. Even on a Raven, all the old servers just... I mean, it's 100 bucks. It's not much for a guy in our age, right? You can just work your job and just spend it on Catholic heroes. And it, it, you don't really care about this. And it's just the sum, like the giant sum of people buying this platinum just randomly to open chests or maybe get a Reaper ring or whatever, or even get a fucking Fash item. And I know that there's Fash items that go for like 500 chests, which is fucking crazy. I mean, people just spend that money on the game and it just goes to the developing team. And that's just the only thing why Celtic Girl still exists is because of these people. Because there's no need for anybody to buy platinum anymore. Because there is no new players to this game. There just isn't any. So all the people buying plat is really, I'd say 90%, I'm just making this up totally, but it's just 90% of people, I'd say, are at least level 200, 220, just randomly buying chests. And if it wasn't for these people, and which is, I don't know why the development team doesn't realize this, if you can't keep the player base around, you're just not earning any money. It's just, this game has no fucking support, it has got no backup anymore, there's nothing, no advertisements, and it's a dying game. And at the amount we get content, maybe once a year, if even, it's not gonna sustain for, I'd say, the next two or three years. I think Celtic Cruz is dead before the next two years. Um, yeah, it's not going down a, you know, great path. But um, to be honest, what could they really do to fix it? Um, maybe just really go ahead and make chests useful. Like, you remember back in the days, I think you've already played the game back then, when there was like cool mounts in the chests and cool fashion in the chests? There wasn't the stupid fashion token shit. There was cool stuff in the chests to get, like exclusive fashion, there was mounts in there and, and all that cool stuff you just get. Yeah. Which you just, you just don't anymore. I've never really been like enticed or excited for like a new chest, because like the, the recent chest that came out, uh, they, they came out with the Imp. Um, yeah and they nerfed it immediately before it even came out so you you would never even like it would never even be good uh, i think at first uh, it said that you would get i think 50 peers if you were like a rogue like for any class basically um you get 50 yeah. peers uh but then they nerfed it and you'd only get 35 peers and also the abilities for it are, are like not even good i think it's treasure hunting ability yeah like and uh, the critical uh, XP, that's it. Yep. Well, that that doesn't help you at all, though. So. I mean, it's... the pet was so fucking hyped, right? So the imp was hyped. Yeah. And that is just like, it's just, <laughs> why was this hyped in the first place? If they just nerf it right at the start of before it's even coming out, it's just like why? Yeah, it's, it, I, it's not sense. I, I, I think I was gonna get, I think I was gonna buy plats to try to get one, but. I think when, it, yeah, they nerf, me. when they nerfed it, I was like, nah, I'll just keep my dragon, whatever. Yeah, because the dragon is still the best pet. It's just how it is. It's it's not going to be For DPS, overshadowed yeah. at all. Yeah, like, it's, it's it's just the best, the best rogue pet. Yeah, like it, like I think, um, whatchamacallit, uh, the imp, like I think if you're a pretty good ranger, let's say, it'd probably give you around 500 to 800 damage. Uh, I think like maxed out range or dg you probably get around 800 but um if you crit that's double the damage so yeah uh, if you crit yeah if you crit that's better than the uh 500 damage that won't even like actually translate to like 500 damage so yeah which is just it's just really weird the system is pretty fucked up yeah, yeah like 500 damage isn't gonna like make your shadow strike any like better or that much better but doubling it's a lot better so i don't know yeah it is the best for sure the dragon um so to sum this up basically the chests offer, offer no value anymore they just are like for people out of boredom to open them the auction house is kind of broken and it's just people are overpricing anything which is just you don't want to want to have anything overpriced it's just people are not buying it and the gold is kind of drained and the servers are pretty much dry nowadays you can't even pick up haste clicks anywhere which are mandatory for the game just to play in dps class you just need hastes yeah right so people people are like really like low on hastes and the admins they don't even know this like they don't even know how to play their own game yeah it, uh, which is really sad yeah especially with hastes that completely changes lock battles for hastes yeah. um 
Uh, so that really makes end game or pay to win. That that and that goes into like boss drops because if you can't get haste on your server, I think some servers that there's like no restos at all. Uh, there's no hastes anywhere. So basically, if you have hastes, um, you're just gonna win a lot more than people without them. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Yeah. And that goes into like you know, <sighs> it kind of just changes the game a little too much. Yeah, it fucks up the system of you. You basically can outlock somebody that is like far superior in gear just by having a haste if they don't have a haste. Yeah, it's especially, like, especially a ranger. Yeah, because if you're a ranger exactly. and you can get to the minimum attack, and you have like, I think some rangers have like AK attack or AK damage. Like, yeah, you're definitely yeah. gonna, you know, outlock somebody. Um, but yeah. yeah, it just it's too pay to win in that aspect in terms of like going to end game, because with money you can't buy you know end game items. You know, it like. Uh, on a legal way yeah. like, like in a normal way but um if you buy haste and other people can't get hastes then I guess that kind of just it just makes it uh, unfair to people who don't yeah. pay money and there's no real way to get haste other than buying chests uh, true the only other way to get hastes is uh, I think um bounty shop the bounty shop but it's like 20 uh, 20 pledges or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Not, yeah, not, it's, not it's pledges, but to to yeah. whatever tokens. Uh, it's it's not. You can't even trade it. It's not tradable. And this also means that for one haste, you would need ten normal bounty days. Yeah. Right? So at least yeah, three it's, days. It's not you need to do all your bounties for three days, just to get one haste for one boss. Yeah. And if you if you would really do this on only one character without bounty pledges. Uh, the process of just getting anything, not only haste, but also moan tokens, is just too long. It's just too long. And when they, <laughs> which is, I still don't know why they did this, like the moan token system. I mean, you, you all know why, because money, right? So people buy chests for that. But when they made the system for moan tokens, they didn't think about what would happen if there's no content being added to the game. Which, notice, if I wasn't to already have like a T6, T5 or a third mod, or T4 basically. Let's say just a regular guy that gets like the first T1 mount. For them to get to T6 on a normal way, you just can't without open chests. You just can't get a spirit mount at all. And this is just end game as fuck. Like having a spirit mount may be cool. So people maybe go for this and so they spend money on the game. But for the game being free to play, it's just a really, really hard to understand aspect for the developers to make this choice. At least not to update the game because this is really what kills the game so a way to kind of fix this specifically for hastes um i know he was talking about mount tokens for mount tokens specifically i don't feel like it it changes the game that much um i know like you can get a normal mount for like let's say uh like 85 percent maybe for like 200k right um yeah. hastes completely change the lock battle if you don't have a uh, a mount it's not gonna like add that much damage so and also yeah. over time it's it's really easy to get the mount tokens in a year if you did every bounty for one year let's say you can get a spirit mount for one year spirit mount that's ridiculous right like that's a lot of time but um yeah. with with uh, heroics um hastes uh it'd be nice for vr to implement a way to, to maybe even cook some type of because i know for um for mages and drew i think I, I think just mages there's a focus food and yeah right and that's all they need really they don't auto so they're fine on that they don't need hastes they don't need baras uh you can you can cook bars it's it's just how self-sufficient it is just not to throw money in the game um if there's a way to cook a haste food that definitely solve the problem but they're not going to do that because the people who are spending the money are as you said 220 plus and they're just end game players who just need items to keep playing yeah. it's like um that candy crush game that was really popular like a couple of years ago like old people would just i think there was like a roadblock a roadblock completely that you just couldn't play the game at all 
anymore. Yeah. You would legit need to spend money on that game. This game is different. You can still play, but um, if you spend money, uh, it makes things a lot easier. You don't need to fish for uh, 200 hours for uh, worth 100 cash. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is just how it is. It's <laughs> and for them to just add a haste food would be an easy fix. That's true. It would be fucking easy for them to just add any kind of like thing as food item. Yeah, they could just like get this, this, and that. Just like may may maybe put like a different ingredient in like yeah. one of the food shops it to make it more expensive. So like maybe or maybe costs... go back from food and implement, which would also bring new content like a bar, like a drinking mixture druid temple as thing where people are brewing their own drinks oh, right? this would also cool. bring new content yeah, be yeah it would cool. be fucking cool right yeah like... i mean we got fishing we got cooking we got these two things so why don't we have um beverages in this game it's it would be so fucking easy for them to just make set up like a area in the tavern maybe another room which nobody needs the rooms in the tavern there's too many rooms which are just unused so for them just to take more of these rooms and maybe edit, it'd be, it'd be kind. Of, it'd be kind of cool in the uh, the first place to another Otherworld. There's some kind of like, yeah. like brewing really cool. place. Like you could just, uh, I don't know what items you would use, but just something new that could make it just so you just don't have to buy chests for haste because that really, uh, you know, makes the game unfun. And to be to be honest, they could even they kind of like downgrade or nerf the elixirs or not not elixirs, but the food compared to elixirs. So maybe say you get the full haste bonus, but only for five minutes per food item per drink. Yeah, like I, this would make sense for them. I, I'd so say they... I'd say they could somehow, you know, how they can make it a pot. Uh, that 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 is something because if they made it a food item, right, you couldn't stack it with bara, and also. If it was I mean, a, if it yeah. was a pot, you couldn't use that, or I guess you could use it with. Um, you can use it with other leaks. That works. No, with BT pot. It still works. Okay. Still works. Doesn't. But I would I would say like this. Whatever this haste is, it'd be five minutes, but you wouldn't lose it if you died. I mean, like, even like if they made it so we lose it if we died, it wouldn't really matter. I mean, yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> But it wouldn't really matter, but because same thing with bars as well, like we all like we stack up on these easy. It's I mean they're kinda expensive, especially like the higher tier ones. But everybody kinda like can stack up with these. It's not that hard, right? Yeah. But for them to just add this in other words would make sense because first off you need levels to um cook anyways. So why don't you just need levels for making your own beverages? And to be level 60 in the other world would be the perfect starting place for people to do that. Because level 60 is achievable without using a single platinum item. It, that's how it works. So level 60 is really when it stops, right? So still then you could even get into merchandising with like the, the drinks you uh, make in, in that thing and like get gold, right? It would be working. I mean, there's people that get fucking rich in gold just by setting uh, baras. Shout out to Avic. <laughs> you saw what happened to this guy? What, what? I don't know. You didn't know what happened to Avic? They took all his gold, man. <laughs> they took all his gold. Uh, yeah, I think I heard yeah. about that. Yeah, this is also another thing which I don't understand. Like, for them to say your botting is not okay, even if you're not really botting, even if you do like the sausage trick or whatever. So if you just just pressing buttons every once in a while uh, in the fucking cooking thing at some point you can't just wait five minutes till one bar is done you know what i mean it's just yes you don't have the time to sit around on your device all day for a couple of baras maybe you understand me here yeah like it i don't i don't know why they would do that because i wouldn't say it's immediately affecting their like cash income per se um I don't know. I, they, they're really just trying to kill their own game. Yeah, I sometimes feel like they're uh, destructing this game just because they they wanted to like kill it off. I don't know if that's the case, but I just have this feeling like they can like wait till it's dead completely. Are they trying to like switch players over to uh, Warhammer? Yeah, and that's a good point to start talking about Warhammer pretty quick. I played Warhammer. I'm like level 20 now or level 90 now. This game is garbage. Uh, here's why this game is garbage. Let's just sum it up. Did you play it yet? No. 
guess I played this um, because I don't know an app called TapTap, which allows you to still play all the games which are from different regions. And uh, Warhammer is region locked for Singapore right now. It's a soft launch. So, so I played this with really bad ping, uh, but items break in this game. And this is just, why would they make it a game where items break and there's like, the skills are pretty bad. It feels like a really unpolished alpha version of like a game. And Celtic Heroes is a really already established game. It has its player base, though it's like a dying player base. It still has a player base. It still has in-game clans. There's a lot of stuff set around this. Like, why don't they just focus on developing that one? Though I know that in Warhammer, in the whole uh, franchise, there's more money than in Celtic Heroes. Because Warhammer is like a different level franchise. But yeah. I don't know if this company is capable of developing a Warhammer game. Just being honest, I don't know if, the, if it's possible. So when, when you were on, was it very like, there's a lot of people on? No. Um, when I was on, I was mostly shooting in a couple of areas. And Warhammer is like not as open worldy as Celtic Heroes. Warhammer is a little bit limited. It's like linear path which look like an open world, but they're not. So it's kind of like tricking. So Warhammer is pretty empty. It feels pretty empty. There's like nothing really going on in this game. The quests are like weirdly linked to each other sometimes, and you just really don't understand the context <laughs> oftentimes. And I actually have five parts of Warhammer pre-recorded, which I wanted to upload, but instead I made a video why I hate Warhammer, which will be coming to my channel soon. Um, I don't think that this is a good game. It's just how it is. I think it's another cash grab. I think that all the mobile games are reckonably becoming more of a cash grab than a game to play. Statement. Uh, for for me, um, I don't know. Like, I never played the game. Um, knowing from what VR is doing with Celtic, I I would it I'd be it'd be safe to assume that you know what you're saying is completely true. It's not a good game. Um, yeah. I, I haven't played it though, so I can't say it definitively, but you know, it doesn't sound very off from a, a VR game. Um, so what next? I, I don't know. I mean, you will see the, the way the, the VR developed. I, uh, I, Warhammer I, I legit, I haven't seen a single like video of that game. So I have no idea how it's like. So I will upload mine in the next couple of days. I'll just get to finish editing this shit and I'll just upload it. You will see, the game is pretty bad. And then, it's just the only thing you can compare to Celtic Heroes because it's from the same company, which it's not really, but it's like from the same company that develops Celtic Heroes now. And you can just kind of see that it is, and even the stance of people in the game. It just looks like Celtic Heroes in a different universe. But it's just so fucking less than Celtic Heroes is. Because Celtic is pretty polished. Let's just be honest. The game is pretty polished. Like everything kind of works. Yeah. But right? everything kind of works. Though the Celtic Heroes lose its quests after the Lear's Rich quest. After that, there's nobody really a story to follow. <laughs> I mean, I still don't know what's going on in Celtic Heroes. But nobody really plays Celtic Heroes, which is a, a statement a friend, a clanny of me and uh, Justin said today. Nobody plays Celtic Heroes for the game itself. Everybody plays for the clan or friends on the friends list. And that's like Celtic Heroes' biggest problem. There's nothing interesting in the game itself. Which there was, but it's not anymore. And Celtic Heroes started dying when they removed events. Which is, they could bring Celtic Heroes back to life if they just fucking added events again. Right? Yeah. Not the BT events, not the Gelly events, but real events. Do you think that they should somehow make the bosses easier in a way yeah a couple of them yeah like for, like for sure, d2. d2 and b yeah which d2 we named d2 the hotu on don we could say d2 because it's the second dragon in the game the second dragon that matters actually like uh, nobody gives a fuck about eggy anymore <laughs> like Aggie's just like a fucking random frozen boss mm -hmm. and uh d2 is like after more the second I, dragon I, I would say for bosses to either make it easier yeah. With less timing, especially for BT and Gelly, because Prot's like every like twenty hours. That's like you, like I. It'd be better if Gelly and BT there's when like when you kill it, let's say then like twenty hours or like forty hours from then, you it, it would spawn automatically. It wouldn't be like it's just this random like I, the the window right. Yeah. yeah, the window is just so long. If you knew when it's gonna be on, it's a lot easier to get people on that time because they know when it's gonna be up. If it's on this that, window, like you just yep. 
it's like you it's harder to get people together to do it at the time or you just keep it but you make uh like let's say isn't there like three drops per kill yeah yeah five i think five there's yeah, five? I five i i didn't know that uh, there's more than three. I think well, there's there's five. Let's say for BT, there's, isn't there like? I think four gear items and one um one quest item. Yeah, like the seed. Yeah, BT. yeah. So for BT, it's four galley. I think it's four. It's four main drops and one quest item. Okay, so maybe add in uh, a few more quest items and like one more um, item, just like more items, because. If there's I think just more in general, just more in general, just more not put uh, not five, not six. I'd say ten items, man. Just give us two quest items and the rest like a mixture of good and bad items. Just the RNG gods may decide. Either just yeah, more yeah, either drops. Just, every boss has four. Yeah, just either make it like simpler to make it there, or just if you're gonna get that much people together to do it, then give us more items. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That would. You know, uh, I don't know. It'd make it things more simpler. Exactly. That uh, would actually be a nice fix for for them to to do, but they won't do this. No. And another thing, which is <laughs> which is why it's just they lost care about kill the kills, and anybody basically lost care about the game. It's as we said before. There's no marketing done for this. The spawn windows are just way too long, and here's an easy fix. Here's an easy fix. Everything you said is right, but here's another easy fix. You maybe killed boss in different games, and every other game which I know that is like on the same schedule or level as Celtic Heroes, like just a level as Celtic Heroes, the bosses spawn within 6 to 12 hours. Depends on the boss level. Which is just, it would make more sense, right? Of course, there would be more drops, but the whole game would make more fun because you could gear more players, and so more players would play the game. That's how it is. And just make it so that people could, like, not solo boss, but kill bosses easy in general. Because I know there's some big ass MMORPGs where people can solo endgame bosses. And that's just sick as fuck. Okay, so on a final note, um, I have one question for you. How did you start playing Celtic Heroes and how did you, like, you know, find out about the game? How to find out about it? <laughs> That's a more or less funny story because I was getting bullied heavy, heavy as fuck in school back then. I was a fucking loser, right? So I, I just got because my family didn't have any cash at that moment. I just got an iPod 2G when everybody uh, already got an iPod 4G and the newest iPhone and shit. So I just looked for games that were compatible with my device. And so I found this game, I think it was evening already, yeah. It was evening already, I didn't have a PC back then, nothing. I lived a poor man's life, right? And so I, I found this game, which had, it's free to play, and I never really touched onto gaming at all, except for playing on my dad's Xbox back then sometimes, Call of Duty and shit, right? But I was like, cool, there's a free game, wait, there's free game, man! Free fucking mobile game, so I downloaded this, and I was like, oh, this looks like World of Warcraft, holy shit, that's so fucking cool, and because I heard of World of Warcraft from my dad as well, because he was a gamer back then as well. I was like, holy shit, that's kind of cool. So me and my twin brother, we both got the game, and we just started playing together. And we were like, okay, this is kind of boring. <laughs> it was kind of boring, but we just ended up spending uh, one, uh, I think it was one euro or 80 cents back then for 10 platinum. And we just fucking bought all the, the items with that money and we just started grinding the game. And Catechus became the game I played in school under the table. Everybody does the shit. They just do anything with the smartphone under the table. I used to hop onto Catechus in the bus because uh, the bus back then they started implementing Wi Fi into buses in my city, which was pretty cool because you could now play with your iPod. And if I didn't, uh, my brother used his uh, phone to hotspot and we just played in the bus and then at home. And we would play Celticers all night. We wouldn't really get far in this game ever, uh, but this was just like when I was really young, 2011. We speak in 2011 here, it was this time when Celticers were pretty new. And the, the player base was kind of cool, like there was a lot of German speaking players on there, so I just connected with them because I live in Germany, so I speak German, and it was kind of cool. This is how I got into Celticers basically. Being bullied in school, having no friends, but an iPod and Celticers. That's how I got into it. So how did you get into Celticers? So, I think at the time, like I think 2017, uh, I was living in a group home with my friend Joey. Um, I, I didn't have any money at the time, like no one did, but f for some reason he had money 
and he had this like old like LG smartphone and I would just like watch him for hours just like play this um, game and I'd be so confused like I didn't know what he was doing um, and I think he probably had this snap or something and I was just so like it was just so crazy to watch like what was happening on his phone like it was like I thought the graphics were like crazy or something for like how good the game was just on the phone so then a couple yeah. of years later um, when I got out of there uh, I had I got I got a phone and we, we would still talk and hang out I go see him sometimes and he was like hey like try out the game and then I did and um, that's basically how I got into it uh, I, I wouldn't say I probably like understood what was going on with the game until like last year uh, that's when I started trying to like figure out things about bosses and stuff but uh, yeah it was fun playing with him at the time uh, oh, we haven't talked in a while though <laughs> so um, yeah <laughs> yeah it's basically that but yeah it's really cool that I got into the game so 